Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be covering our very first topic in Meteor, and that is custom user accounts. Now, this video is going to be pretty basic. We're just going to be adding an unstyled user account, and we're going to be showing you how you can write your own modal for it. But in later videos, we're going to get more and more advanced with the things that we're adding to our custom accounts. So let's get started right now. we have our base blaze files in here let's go ahead and start adding some packages what we're going to first start off with is basically how we can create a custom user login system without having to write the entire thing from scratch now you might be thinking that well it's either the meteor accounts that we've added in other level up tutorials videos or nothing but really we can add a lot of things and a lot of features using the meteor user accounts package just by simply adding the un styled package. Let's come to our .meteor folder and then packages. Now you can paste in some packages in here of which I'll make available in the description of the video. But really we just have accounts-base, accounts-password, then user accounts unstyled. And we're going to be using these handlebars helpers as well. Now for this first video, it's not going to be anything totally wild, but what we will be having, it's going to be a totally custom login modal window that we're going to make ourselves. So after we have those packages in here, make sure that those packages have been successfully added, your server has been restarted, and let's come back. Now, although we do have some CSS, we don't have all of the CSS for this project. So I'll be showing you where you can grab the remainder of the accounts CSS to get this working. This should be nice and easy. So let's actually go to our client folder. Inside of our client folder, we have layouts, pages, and partials of which we saw before. I like to break my projects out and organize them by feature. So in this type of thing, I would want this to be something like accounts. In accounts, maybe you would have a user profile, you'd have the login stuff, just anything having to do with user accounts. So I'm gonna click new folder and I'm gonna create a new folder named accounts. Now keep in mind, this is not any sort of hard, fast way to structure your project. This is just how I like to do it. Now let's go ahead and make a new template. We can do new file within the accounts folder, and I'm going to name this login modal .html. Okay, now let's make a new template. And the template name is going to be the same as the file, and that's going to be login modal. Okay, so this is going to be a modal window we're going to build for ourselves. Let's go ahead and have a div, and we're going to have this with a class of login-modal. Okay, now let's go ahead and have an icon inside of here, and the icon is going to be fa and then fa-close, and then we're going to give this another class, which is just close login. Okay, and if you're not using Emmet, I would check out using Emmet. It's what I'm doing to do this shorthand where you can just type in i.fa.fa, whatever, and hit tab. It's going to auto complete these just so you uh, can keep up with what I'm doing. So we have fa, fa hyphen close, and then close login on this icon. This is just going to be an X, really, and then the close login is what we're going to be using as a trigger to actually close this modal window. Now, because we have the accounts unstyled in here, let's go ahead and add two brackets and then a greater than, and then we can add an at form. And that's in camel case here. Now, what this is going to do is going to add a user accounts login form that's going to be uh, totally unstyled. If you've used the user accounts UI package, you have seen that the login is already pre styled. It's sort of hard to override all those styles. So, this is going to give us a totally bare bones unstyled login. So I'm going to then have login modal right here as my name. Let's throw this into one of our partials. So I'm gonna take the header, which is used on every page, and within the template, but outside of the header, I'm going to go ahead and use this login modal with the same double brackets and then greater than sign and then space, login modal, double brackets. So this should be calling our new login modal, which should now be able to be on our page. So as you can see, we now have this HTML has been added to our page. And it's actually taking up some of the default styles we have in here because this is a button. So it's already a nice step, right? 
So we don't have to have some click to toggle modal like they do by default. We could throw this onto a page if we wanted to. We could put this in any of our categories right down here. And that way somebody could just log in without having to open a modal. What we're gonna do is actually turn this into a modal. But as you can see here, just by using this at form, we're able to take advantage of an actual user login form without having all of the default styles that come with the Meteor form. Now, another thing you should note is if you don't have an account, register still works. It still will take you to the create an account and, and we can click sign in if you'd like. So these things are nice that they're taking care of for you. And you might be thinking this totally isn't custom, but in the next few videos, we're gonna get into some really deep customization of the user accounts package and just showing you how you can do things like adding fields to logging in and stuff like that. So don't worry if this is a little basic, we're going to just keep on evolving on this. Okay, so we have the sign in form. It's nice and easy and it will totally work right now if you want it to. However, I want this to be a modal and let's go ahead and and modify that just a little bit. So first things first, I'm going to head to accounts and I'm gonna make a new file. And this file is just going to be loginmodal.js. And in here we can add a new template.loginmodal.events. And we're gonna use this as an event to trigger whenever the modal is closed. So we can just simply say on click of dot close hyphen login, then colon, and then now we can use just the arrow function to say bracket session dot set. And inside of our session, we're going to have a session variable called nav hyphen toggle. And then if we have a comma, we're gonna set this to blank. You'll see why in a second. So right now the session nav toggle is set to blank. It's set to completely blank whenever you click the close login button. So that's all the work we're gonna to need to do inside of this accounts folder for now. Let's actually head to our partials. Let's head to the main nav actually. So in the main nav, we have these two links. And now we wanna go ahead and add a link that's going to be login. So I'm gonna have a list item and it's going to say login sign up. I mean, this language can be different based on how you like to word this sort of thing. I'll put a hyphen in here as well. Now I'm gonna add a class to this list item. And again, this is going to be used for the event. It's going to be login hyphen toggle. And this will be able to toggle in our modal. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and grab the styles for this. Because right now, as you can see, this isn't hidden. It's not a modal. It's not really doing anything. What we want this to be is we want this to be sort of hidden right now, position fixed and all this stuff so we can't see it. Let's go ahead and grab those styles. I'll make the link to these styles available in the description of the video. And really you can just come to the GitHub page and copy and paste them in. I'm going to just drop this into my SAS folder. I'm gonna make a new file and it's going to be accounts.scss and I'm just gonna paste this in here. So basically we just have our login modal position fixed. We're giving it some really default styles and we're giving our closed login some default styles. Nothing really crazy here at all, but you can grab this. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description of the video. You can grab these styles directly, paste them in, and now you'll see at our page, our login is no longer seen. Okay, so when we look at this SAS, you'll notice that I do have an open class on the modal itself that's going to change the opacity and transform it. So what we're looking to do is toggle this open class. So to do that, we want that to happen whenever you click on the login sign up. So let's head to our main nav.js. I'm gonna copy this login toggle class. Now let's go ahead and say template.main nav dot events and then brackets. Now inside of this object, we're going to have one event. It's going to be a click event. So we're gonna have a string and we're gonna say click and then we're gonna say dot login hyphen toggle. So when you click login toggle, let's go ahead and have a colon and let's do something here. I'm just gonna have a simple arrow function here and let's go ahead and actually set our session to open. So I'm gonna copy the line from login modal that says session.set blank 
I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to say session.set open. So what this is doing is it's basically just setting this nav toggle to being open. So that's great. When we come to our page, if we hit control M, because I have Meteor Toys installed, you can see that when I click the login, sign up, our nav toggle is now set to open. Cool. So now we want this to actually just open the nav. Let's go ahead and get that working. So I'm going to head to my login modal.html. So from here, we want this to get a class of open whenever the session is set to open. Well, how do we do that? Well, using these handlebars helpers that I've used in other videos, we can simply just say bracket bracket and then dollar sign dot session dot get. And then within single quotes, we can say nav hyphen toggle. Now outside of those single quotes, finish it off with two more brackets. This is saying get the session variable nav toggle. This is one of my most favorite packages to use because it just makes things easier. I don't have to create a helper just to simply get the session variable. So we now have the login modal is going to have a class of open whenever session nav toggle is set to open. So let's take care of that now and check it out in action by clicking login sign up. So now when I click login sign up and we click the X right here, goes away. Awesome, so we now have this modal window that we were able to style ourselves using CSS. I can go ahead and actually create an account and let's click register. Now, here's the problem. We have our modal still being shown and we're logged in. So what we wanna do is add in some logic here into our login modal. We could certainly have some sort of event on login to close this modal, and that's certainly a good thing to do, but I just don't even want this modal to be available unless you're not logged in. So I can say bracket bracket if, and then using another one of these handlebars helpers, we can say dollar sign not current user. Okay, now let's end that if just above the template tag. And let's indent this to make it read a little bit better. What we're saying is if the current user is not logged in, don't show them this thing at all. And as you can see, regardless of what I do, I click or whatever, I can't get that modal to show up. So now we want to apply similar logic to show and hide this login sign up button. Let's go ahead and do that by heading to our main nav. And in this list item, we can do another bracket bracket if current user. Now, if the current user is logged in, what I wanna give them is access to a logout button. So we can give this a class of logout, and we can just have the text simply be logout. Now, I wanna do bracket bracket else, and then if they're not logged in, we will show them the login form. And then we can just wrap this off with a forward slash if. So this is basically if the current user is logged in, show them the logout, else show them the login button. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually trigger this logout function. So we can head to our main nav.js and let's add another click event. You can just hit comma here to add another item into this object. The property is going to be click and we're dot logout because we're looking for the logout button. Now, once again, I can just do a very simple arrow function here and a bracket. Now, Meteor provides us with a really nice method just called meteor.logout. Now, meteor.logout is simply just going to log the current user out. It's really simple, and it's really nice that we just have this in here too. Simply just say on click logout, log you out. Let's test this all in action. I should be logged in right now. So we have the logout link right here. So when I click logout, you can see we now have login sign up available. We can click that to bring up our modal. We can sign in and watch it go away and have our logout button. So just like that, we've built our own login modal that you can really do anything you want with. Now, this isn't totally customized. We don't have extra fields in here. We don't have our own dialogue in here. We're not able to change things like this button. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do some template overrides. We're going to be able to override this template with whatever we want for any of these values. Now, the best part about that is it gives you full control over what's actually displayed when we use this at form right here.
And then after that, we're going to be adding in custom fields and validations as well. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. And there's a lot more meteor topics coming very, very soon. So keep watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.